All right, so it's time to test it. So let's see how this starts. Wow, this is this is a wheelie machine. The acceleration is it's wheelie. It's wheeling. It has tremendous amount of torque. And the acceleration is almost instant. But guess what? A speed ain't that great. So I'm going to do a quick settings check and see if I can squeeze a bit more speed out of this. Nonetheless, the acceleration is simply a killer. So I've taken a look at the settings, so there's not much that I can do. So I'm going to try it again. I'm afraid of the acceleration because this thing is almost impossible to start gently. The accelerator works really nice. You can go very slow, faster, but if you give it a jolt, it simply lifts on the rear wheel. It's almost like a teleport machine from zero to something like 29 km per hour. And this display here has somehow self-calibrated. So you can see here I have the GPS doing 27, 28 kilometers per hour. And this one shows exactly 29, which is very strange as uh, as you've seen in my assembly video that this was doing something crazy like 60 kilometers per hour. And this is impossible to calibrate because it has a uh, geared motor with a one-way clutch so the calibration means that you actually need to push this for five meters measure five meters somewhere and you push it the controller learns how uh, many revolutions the wheel will do in uh, those five meters and then we'll display the correct speed here so I haven't been able to do that but somehow this display now no longer shows 60 70 kilometers per hour it just shows 30 kilometers per hour and that's confirmed by the GPS but then the acceleration is impressive. So the next uh, logical upgrade to this is uh, to either overvolt the motor even more than uh, 48 volts. So the next step would be 60 volts. But considering the yield that uh, has uh, went up very little from 25 kilometers per hour to 30 kilometers per hour. Probably you are going to get something like 32, 33, 34 kilometers per hour. And that should be all with this motor. So the gears, internal gears of the motor are very low, low geared. So this scooter has huge torque but uh, huge acceleration but uh, no top speed so the next logical thing would be to seek out another motor for the bike another type of motor being either another uh, geared motor that it's tall gear or to use a direct hub motor direct drive hub motor and hopefully that will give a lot more speed but you are going to lose this uh, phenomenal acceleration which is absolutely fabulous and the motor with the one-way clutch also has the advantage of freewheeling so there's no drag now but you can teleport again
try that again. So I'm going to lean forward. Much better. Oh, that's nice. Really nice. But as I was hoping to get more speed out of this, so more upgrades are needed. Actually, no, not many, just the motor, another type of motor, because it doesn't change anything else, uh, neither to the control wires, neither to the display. So everything that was done in the video will uh, fit the new motor. You just need to put new phase wires and the whole sensors to match those and that's it so hopefully we are going to find something that will drive this little beast even faster and with this test finished be sure to follow my next uploads and hopefully we are going to test something new soon meaning a new motor and until then see you and bye bye